not in Niagara today. Today's a little different. We've taken a short road trip up to the headwaters uh, of some Lake Huron tributaries, and we're doing some brook trout fishing. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, bushwhacking and driving around trying to find some nice spots. But there's no shortage of them up here. It's a really beautiful area. So we're really hoping to have a nice day outside. It's a little cold. I got my toque on, but it's all worth it when you see stuff like this. Got to the first spot here. Looks pretty juicy, so I'm gonna throw a spinner through, see if I can get some aggressive fish first. And then if that doesn't pan out, float a worm through. Oh, look at that, beautiful fish. Oh, look at the colors. Holy smokes. Look at that on the second cast. Yeah, oh wow. Pretty nasty log here. Oh yeah. There's one. Right in that log. Man, is that beautiful or what? So for bait, I'm just using little compost worms. We dug those up yesterday and they work awesome because they're so small. And it's, it's pretty much the same worm that you know, during a heavy runoff are actually going to wash into these small little streams and the brook trout are, you know, used to those worms kind of going in the water, so that's why they work so well as bait. Plus, every kind of fish just loves worms. I'm gonna try another drift through here. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but the log jam in front of me, there's a log that goes under it too, and it's kind of breaking the current that's coming in through there those fish are just hiding under the log. Stick roll. Okay, so I'm kind of frustrated using worms because they just keep stealing it. Um, but I need to be down deep below those chubs. So I'm going to try a little marabou jig here. I've never tried that for brook trout before, but it works on steelhead. Pretty much any other fish, so I think it's probably worth a shot. Seems like the fish are kind of getting a little spooky and they're wise to the game. Look at that speck. Beautiful. Put that marabou on. You can see there. Not many drifts in and he came up and smoked it. Well, great day so far. We're on the move, trying out some new water. So we're here at Sulphur Spring Conservation Area. And in their ponds, they've stocked rainbows. Not for fishing, but just for enjoying. And the water's super clear. Looks like there's a few that are trying to spawn in the shallow section of the pond. So I'm going to try and get the GoPro underwater here. Um, it might be difficult because they're going to be very spooky, but I'm going to do my best. Thank <laughs> you. 
Awesome. That's crazy. Just so that everybody's clear. Otherwise I'd be fishing it. Okay, so we're just getting ready to try the last spot of the day. This is one that I've wanted to try for years and just never quite got there. I always got sidetracked on different spots. Um, not too big of a creek, but it's got some big holes. And I just saw a fish surface there, so that's a really good sign. I'm gonna put the camera down, get fishing, and see what happens. Well, kind of surprised and a little disappointed that I didn't get a fish out of that awesome looking hole, but it's been a fantastic day. Nice weather, lots of fish too. and exploring some new water. A little uh, short road trip away from home. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're back. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot of fun to do. Caught a lot of really nice fish. It feels really good to be done school. Get outside, do something I really love. That's fishing, that's brook trout fishing. Real key to that today, was this book here. So this is Backroad Map Book. Uh, it's published, and this one's pretty old. You can get a newer, updated one, uh, probably at Chapters. Um, I've also seen them uh, at outdoor stores. And it's 20 bucks. So if you enjoy doing this type of thing, I definitely recommend picking one up. Uh, Google Maps, Google Earth is also useful, uh, especially because these maps don't include any kind of land cover so they all just show your streets and your water now that land cover can be really useful um, as I learned today because a lot of the more productive stretches of uh, rivers today were ones that were treed so rivers that went through farmers fields uh, those tend to have a lot of runoff uh, a lot of manure ends up in the water it gets warmer there so you're really looking for those cool running streams that go through forested areas stay nice and shaded, nice and cool, and that's going to help you find more fish. Additionally, just this book is really good. Uh, you can see where creeks start. Uh, it's not always uh, easy to find it using Google Earth um, to find those headwater areas. That's really what we targeted today, was where some of even the bigger rivers, like the Sobel and the Saugeen, where those rivers start. Um, that's where they're going to have those native populations of brook trout. So, other than that, um, Great day, good times, nice fish, looking forward to doing some more uh, vlogging, got the new camera, hope you guys enjoyed this. As the weather gets nicer, make sure you get outside and go fishing. Thanks for watching.